investigation continues into what caused a fire in a busy downtown building. That fire started this morning here at Bijou in Cascade. As you can see, a lot of emergency trucks and, of course, firefighters there. More than half of the city's working firefighters were called out to fight that. Now, fire officials have not officially said where the fire started, but that it appears to have started closer to the east part of the building near the Taste of Jerusalem Cafe. 11 News anchor Grace Kramer is joining us live from the scene. Grace, the owner of that restaurant, says it may be a total loss. I spoke with Nasser Abdul today, and while he didn't want to go on camera, he tells me that the inside of this restaurant is a complete disaster. I also spoke with other people who tell me that this fire is not just a loss for the business owners, but rather the entire community. It's absolutely terrible. Teresa Phillips says she's a regular downtown and seeing these businesses be forced to close is devastating. They rely so much on uh, local business. Um, it's not like they're a chain that, you know, they can cover that. That's going to come out of their pocket. Mayor Yemi Mobilade surveying the damage. We had the chance to talk to um, the building owner. We had a chance to talk to one of the neighboring businesses, and then we had to also a chance to talk to the father of one of the small business owners, and they're, and they're sad. It's, it's, it's a holiday season. One of those businesses, Taste of Jerusalem Cafe, sustained a lot of damage, evident by the black ash coated on the windows. The owner, Nasser Abdul, tells me they have served this community for more than 15 years, even offering to feed those who may be experiencing hardships for free, saying in part, to see it gone is very very hard. Hopefully we'll get through this together. Next door to the cafe is Yobel, a boutique. Emily Ross, the owner, tells us they may lose close to $100,000 worth of inventory. I don't know if I've processed it all quite yet, but um, supposedly you couldn't see anything into our shop with so much smoke, and so there will be damage. We also reached out to the owners of Icons, a popular LGBTQ plus bar. We will let you know as soon as we hear back. Reporting live in Colorado Springs, Grace Kramer, KKTV 11 News. All right, Grace, thanks.